What is up, YouTube? Repo Man 360 here, back from my trip to MIA, aka Miami. Uh, I didn't get a whole lot, so I'm going to throw in what I picked up Saturday on uh, yard selling. The video that I put up had uh, I had taken some video from another source. For for whatever reason, putting them together seems to make the video not work. So I'm just gonna show you what I got then. Uh, in this video as well. So I stopped by GameStop and for 750 I got a Call of Duty Ghost 2XL shirt. It's kinda cool. Uh, then a bunch of Wii games. Nothing uh, spectacular. I think I paid less than 30 bucks for everything. Uh, and there are some condition issues. Uh, we have Dewey's Adventure it's the only one that didn't have the manual, but it was like 99 cents, so went ahead and got it. Uh, case isn't in the best shape. Uh, then we have Balls of Fury. This uh, Kabuki. Now, I don't know if it's going to come through, but the uh, it has some like major spillage damage here. Uh, so this, this case is worthless. I couldn't even peel this thing out and use the case again. But it was 99 cents and it came with these glasses and the manual's minty, the disc is nice. So I mean I'll need a new case, but I have it seems like I have all the other stuff. So for for a buck I couldn't pass it up. Then we have Ready to Rumble Revolution, which is complete. Uh, but there are some condition issues uh, with the back. I know it's so tough to tell. It's got some some gouges in it and uh, it has a bit of uh, label damage there. Uh, now this writing is on the outside but it's Casper's Scare School. It's got some, uh, it's got a deep gouge here. Again, did not pay very much for these. Uh, they had their manuals which was the most important part and the disc is nice because I can't tell you how often now it seems like I'm finding people that just have the case and manual and no game, uh, or they have, or they're missing the manual. So this really works out uh, getting this while I can. Now this was 99 cents, and I have a, co a new copy of the sealed, but totally spies, totally party, and it's actually uh, it had some old GameStop stickers on it. So I don't know if you can see this. Remember when they used to put another sticker over here to show that it had been opened? <laughs> uh, and I think this one did as well. This one had a sticker on the spine. Uh, we had Prince of Persia, is it Rival Swords? And that is got its manual as well. All these discs are nice though, so that's that's good. Uh, and then uh, Red Steel 2. Haven't had a chance to take that sticker off yet. Uh, so I haven't played this one yet. Uh, the first one was alright. The first one was a launch title. I, I'm told this one's better. And they had a bin, of, I guess, of old uh, PlayStation and GameCube games that uh, they found in the back or whatever. Uh, and I got this one. I'd never seen a, a game in a blue case. It's uh, Michigan Report from Hell. Uh, it does have a bite out of it. I don't know if the blue case means anything special, but I might just put it in a regular black case. Because uh, I, I doubt I'll find another blue one. Uh, so that was everything I got at GameStop. Uh, now, as far as coming back down, uh, there's a game store in Key Largo. I, I'm usually not really up for stopping there, but I didn't get a lot at GameStop. So it's called, uh, I believe it's Tropical Video Games. Is it Tropical? Yeah, Tropical Video Games. Okay. Uh, I, for six bucks, I got a copy of Shaq Fu. Now, why would I pay six dollars for Shaq Fu? I have someone in mind to uh, draw something on here for me, so that's why I picked that up. And apparently, somebody beat me to the punch and picked up all of their box games, uh, but they had one left, uh, Rise of the Phoenix. And I'll just say, uh, I got there right before closing. Uh, they did assure me that everything was in the box. Uh, but you see I paid $17.95 I haven't looked it up uh, but everything else everything else that I was familiar with that I know what like it, the average is on eBay 
they were either eBay prices or above. So it's definitely not the place to go to get a deal. It's only the, the place, you know, if you want to put your hands on it. It's like uh, eBay in person. So not very fond of it, but I do, uh, do want to support local gaming. Hopefully they'll start making money to the point where they can start selling these at a reasonable price now. The Xbox stuff, like the, the I, I should say the current gen stuff, uh, or formerly current gen, like the Xbox 360, PS3, those were closer to GameStop prices than eBay, but still higher than you would expect for a local game store. So now I'm going to show you what I, oh I'm sorry, uh, we also stopped at Walmart, which we, we, we usually don't stop at Walmart, uh, but they have a a crane game there and I don't play those very much but they had the the UFO one which I I've only played a few times uh, and it's a buck a play but uh, for three bucks I managed to score this soccer ball bag I don't know <laughs> it's an Easter bag or what with like a Valentine bear in it I don't know uh, <laughs> I, I really, I, I play them for the challenge, and it was just really neat to get this. I actually got this on the first try, and this one I picked up on the first try and got it close to the hole and had to, to do one more buck, but it's also got a bear in it, and it is a football bag. Uh, not made by anybody in particular. Uh, so, anybody interested in those, let me know in the comments down below. Alright, and... Now I can get on to what I picked up at the yard sales. Now I made a rookie mistake. Uh, usually I get my yard sales out of the paper. That's just the best way to do it down here. And I forgot the paper at work. So, and I didn't feel like going to get one. I had found a yard sale on Craigslist that, I, that said specifically that it had games. So I said I'm going to go there. On the way there I'm going to buy a paper from one of the, one of the guys selling it on the street and I'll thumb through it see see what's there so I go to this sale I'm I must be the first one there because this guy's still drinking his morning coffee and it's got a you know he's got some stuff out and everything is is priced to sell and his games were actually a dollar a piece so I bought them all uh, regardless of whether I needed them or not uh, and I'll, I'll sort of I guess I'll go through which ones I need which ones I don't but uh, we have an original Xbox Halo, uh, Platinum Hit, no manual. And there's actually a few variations of the Platinum Hit. Uh, this is the best-selling Xbox Platinum Hit, no red label. Uh, then we have Bolt for the 360. And these are all complete. Uh, unless I say otherwise, I think there might have been one more that didn't have a manual. Up. Oh. Uh, no movie ticket. Now this Assassin's Creed 2 uh, does have the manual, but some I, I don't I didn't see a guy having a dog or a cat, and the guy was was pretty. Uh, I mean he was definitely in his 60s. I mean I'm not saying it can't be his games, but it just it did seem a little odd that he had all these games. Uh, it's got some some sort of animal bite marks all over it. It's the only one that I saw like that. And we have Cabela's Outdoor Adventure. Time. Uh, this one I didn't have. I'm, I'm interested to play. Uh, Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. I'm happy to get that one. Uh, this one I have. Uh, Cameo. It's a great game. Let's see the, there we go. For some reason the slip on the outside was the wrong way around. I don't know how that happened. And it is a former used FYE. Rest in peace. Then we have a platinum hit Assassin's Creed. Which I've got a few copies of this. I've got the limited edition of this sealed. Alright. Golden Compass, which I have, but isn't anything in particularly special. Also looks like it was used from FYE. The gold edition of Call of Duty 3 and it does have the DVD 
but it doesn't have like the slip case that the DVD came in so it's it was just sort of shoved into the uh, the manual but I've tried to put it back onto the ring now this uh, copy of Game Cameron's Avatar of the Game uh, has some slight label damage here where it's been like crinkled somehow uh, but does have its manual and this this buy me stuff paperwork all right Cabela's African Safari which is actually not a bad little game so I think it was the, the Cabela game that I enjoyed the most and a Wii copy, a one and only Wii copy of Red Steel. Uh, I asked him if he had any more games, if he was selling systems. I said, I don't have any idea where he got these games from. He didn't strike me as a gamer, but who knows. So I bought all of those, and I noticed this uh, like computer, uh, keyboard, and some this, this monitor here. And he said it actually you can hook it up to your uh, cable, so it's got like the antenna, and you can also uh, plug stuff into it. It's got AV. I said that's really cool. How much do you want for it? The sticker says twenty nine, but I actually paid ten bucks, and I thought that was a really good deal until I got it home and realized I hadn't got any sort of like power cable from him, just the cable that would go to like your PC. So, it, and this was actually like 10 miles out of town, which is a bit of a bummer, but I didn't realize it until after I had left, and I went to uh, the other yard sale in the paper that, that sort of mentioned, they, they mentioned they had like electronics and games, uh, so I, some, down here games could mean board games, card games, and uh, not necessarily video games. But I get there, and they said, yeah, you know, I had a Wii, and I sold the guy the Wii, and I, then I told him about my PS2 games, and he bought everything. Uh, and I asked him, did he talk like this, and was he Spanish? He says, yeah, you know the guy? So apparently, uh, good old 2MJ struck again, caught me slipping. <sighs> but I digress. Okay. So I decided to go back to this other yard sale uh, that was from Craigslist and see if I can't get that cable. I get there, the guy is gone. His wife is there. And so I explained, I'm the guy that came earlier. And she's, yeah, I, I remember seeing you. Uh, let's see, the, the, the monitor was over here. And she, she's telling me about how nice it is that it's from some company called Hanspre. I've never heard of it, but... Uh, apparently they're really good and uh, you know she's saying oh it's not here I don't you know everything that was supposed to be with it was out and like I said I paid ten dollars so I wasn't gonna beat this lady over the head I figured I could just go to Radio Shack and get one well it turns out it's uh, like a proprietary thing uh, so I had to buy one on eBay actually I paid 20 bucks for it uh, it was the cheapest one I could find but as you can see it works so thrilled to have that. I plan on hooking up my uh, Turbo du Duo to it. Right now, I have my Turbo Graphic 16 hooked up to it, and it is running AV. Yes, I purchased. I saw a video, and I, uh, forgive me, I can't remember who who posted it, but they were showing that someone was making AV cables for the Turbo Graphics that utilize the back prongs, and it comes with foolproof instructions on how to set it up so I have two turbo graphics like that so I bought two cables so now they they both have AV so that's awesome again I digress so while I was there I noticed a few more things were out because I, I I got there something like uh, 40 minutes early to this guy's yard sale so I guess he, he didn't quite have everything out and he had three backpacks out and the prices were on them kind of like this but the prices were really faded so neither one of us could make out what it was and uh, she decided she looked at one of them I, there were three backpacks total uh, and said you know what I think this one says five dollars so I, they're five dollars each so I say okay uh, five dollars each 
that's a hell of a deal. I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. And so I pick up two of them right away. And the third one I'm kind of on the fence on. But for five bucks, uh, I'm, I'm not going to show it. It's a Cabela's, uh, like a hunting backpack. It's got a place. It's got places for all sorts of stuff. But it's also got one of those belts that go around your waist. So I, I'm going to use it for like a like a bug out bag, like a zombie survival bag where you, you, you put uh, you know emergency foil blankets and glow sticks and first aid kit, that sort of thing's in it. Just uh, just to have, uh, it's not, uh, you know, not not that I think the zombie apocalypse is upon us, but it's also living in a, a, a hurricane area. It's not bad to have a backpack packed for uh, pr a problem situation. But the other two backpacks, one of them I'm, I'm definitely uh, willing to uh, trade or sell. I haven't looked them up. Uh, I have to imagine that they're they're good backpacks because these are Swiss Army backpacks. They're uh, official, so you know they got pockets for everything. And backpacks like these are perfect for the flea market. You want to have a backpack like this that you can have water in, that you can put your purchases in and free up your hands. Uh, and, and you've got all, all pockets for your phone. Uh, you can put your money in here. There's a open pocket here, so like if somebody sells you a PS2, you can just shove that bad boy right in there, no problem. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, it doesn't look like it was used very much at all. <laughs> Shock absorbing. Uh, this one is definitely up for for trade or, or sale if anybody's interested in it. Uh, I am trying to make a sale and trade video. It's just a matter of getting sort of my recent pickups uh, posted before I sale and trade them. Uh, the other backpack I am keeping, uh, it's a, just a slightly bigger one, and it is another Swiss Army bag as well, just a little bigger, uh, set up a little different, doesn't have that side pouch, but it's got, uh, let's see if I can get to it here. It's got a headphone jack in the top. So, pretty neat. Uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad day, given that all of that came from one uh, one sale. And, actually, you can see where uh, the headphones uh, hook in. It's kind of neat. Uh, but, when I got them home, and you know, really got a good look at those stickers. They were at, it actually said fifteen, so all of those were supposed to be fifteen dollars each for. So I got three for the price of one, so that was really cool. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent deal on that. I mean, thirty bucks altogether. Uh, like I said, it does have that antenna jack, so I could hook up a Nintendo to this, uh, or you know, hook it up to the TV. Also, it's got the monitor jack, so I could hook it up to a computer too. It's a good size. Uh, I'll probably put it on a, a desk or the top of a shelf and get some super enjoyment out of it. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'm a little tired so I'm sorry if I don't have the, the energy I usually do but please uh, leave comments down below. Tell me what you think and as always guys take